Hi Aquarius, welcome into your reading. We're going into the first week of March. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, those of you who are new to my channel, uh, slightly different reader. I read the cards, I don't sugarcoat anything. There's a few F-bombs, sorry. Um, yeah, that's it, let's get into it. What is going on the first week of March for Aquarius, please? First two cards are with major arcanas. Wow. Temperance in the cross. Fool. Upright. And the ace of swords upright. Okay. You're struggling to find your balance in regards to something. Um, a situation of some kind. Uh, it looks like you're going... It looks like someone is coming back or you're going back to someone or something. Something is like a job a family, a, a marriage, a something, right? Or a person, an ex, whatever. You're struggling to find your balance in regards to something, all right? But you're taking a leap of faith and a risk and you're, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna have this conversation with somebody. You're gonna put all your cards on the table. Now, cards are energy. So I could be talking about you or I could be talking about your person. So the energy or the environment you're involved in, that's the card, what the cards are going to pick up. So if I'm not talking about you, I'm definitely talking about them, but it is definitely the storyline. So for a fact, Ace of Swords talks about telling the truth, putting cards on the table. Sometimes it talks about contracts, um, but this is you taking a risk of some kind, right? And putting it all out there. Because you don't, you're not balanced right now and you are a little uneasy. It does look like somebody might be coming back after this conversation. Who knows? Let's say. Um, we clarify all these, so we'll see. We'll get more details. We'll get into the weeds of your reading in a minute. What's coming towards Aquarius, please? Knight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups upright and then the Four of Wands. You're very much giving a shit about the structure of your home, the structure of your life, your livelihood, um, your relationship. Four of Wands talks about platform and structure of anything, right? To build a home, we got to put up four walls. So it's the same thing with careers. To create a career, we have to put up a platform and a structure by going to college and, you know, taking shitty jobs to get to the point where we have experience. Um, this is also talking about upgrading, whether it is quite literally your home or this is talking about taking a relationship to the next level or even your career goes to the next level. It talks about upgrade. Well, it's at the bottom of the deck. Let's talk about the cards that fell out on the table. These cups. Cups are emotions and feelings, okay? Because that's water. Water ebbs and flows like emotions do. Now, I also read the cards so you can understand what it means to you in your life. So it's a large audience, so you apply it as you hear it. Five of Cups talks about regret, guilt, not having done something or having done something. Having not said something or having said something. You get the picture. Knight of Cups in reverse talks about retracting an invitation, not doing it, not receiving it. This is talking, this is literally picking up the phone and having an emotional conversation with somebody. Hey, let's go out for coffee. Let's go out for drinks. I'm inviting you. It's an invitation. In the reverse, it's a retraction. It's not having done it, not having gone there. And there's guilt and regret attached to that. All right? I think me seeing the four of wands at the back of the deck, you're in this place where you're, you don't want to fuck with your ecosystem, your environment, your situation. Um, if you think it's getting too hard, too difficult, or too annoying, you, you're you looking for a quick exit or to get rid of it, expel it quickly, like eject by kind of vibe. But let's see, like I said, I still need to clarify all these guys and see how this applies to you in your life because maybe this is your person. Um, what is it that you don't see coming? What is it that Aquarius doesn't see coming their way? The Emperor, which is Aries energy. And the Three of Pentacles. Wow, 
These are amazing at the bottom of the deck. I'll tell you in a second. Um, the Emperor and the World card. You have some ridiculous amount of Major Arcana, which talks about your life is in this place right now where it's very much changing, specifically for Aquarius people, because now we're going into the age of Aquarius. And I don't think we've had like this shift in alignment in your planets, Aquarius, for the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, something crazy like that. Because what's going on now is showing you the shadow effects of what your life is going to be like for the next 20 years. Interestingly enough, you're starting a new chapter here with somebody that is an emperor. For you, an emperor, it can be a big boss. It can actually be literally an Aries that you're dealing with. It can be somebody that's an emperor, somebody of high value, lots of authority, um, very strong, um, somebody who creates empires. And you're starting a new chapter with this individual, however they apply in your life, romantic or otherwise. Bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. So as Three of Pentacles talks about third party situation. If this is work related, it's collaborating. It's working with a team with this individual. But if this is like romantic, you could be working things out with them. All right. Roadblocks and obstacles change are changing. They're going away. Then we have you waiting eventually, having fear of the unknown, not knowing where the future holds, but leading ultimately to a happy environment, like a happy couplehood. Let's continue. Um, what's the advice here for Aquarius, please? And interesting because the bottom of the deck talks about what's coming down the pike. Yeah, we're reading for the first week of March. These are the energies that you're reading for the beginning of March. But these energies are leading to that energy. So let's see. What's going on um, with advice? What's their best advice here for Aquarius, please? Page of Cups and Three of Wands. Yeah, your best bet is to communicate here somebody. Just at least dip your toe in the water with someone. Initiate contact or conversation. Or, you know, allow them to initiate contact and conversation with you. And you do. You kind of need to wait out the results of this person, this individual, this situation. You do. You need to hold on. You need to wait for your ships to come in. But accepting these conversations or like these initiating something like through text through email whatever light and fluffy nothing crazy um the the information is eventually going to rush in and come in maybe you're the one who needs to rush in and communicate something with someone all righty what's the outcome for the week for aquarius please the king of wands and Justice. Jesus Christ, the amount of majors and knight of wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, once again, fire sign. This person's available for you to be in a relationship to whatever. Um, somehow they don't have to be a fire sign. They are just, they have the energy of one, which is somebody charismatic, very attractive, um, somebody courageous, brave, um, creative. And then justice talks about being fair, balanced, and honest. It's a karma card. This could, If it's literal, it talks about court and having something being fair and balanced. And this person will treat you fairly anyway. Uh, whether you're into them or not, but they will treat you fairly because justice is here and it's in the upright. So could be that this person comes back to you too, or you're getting justice from them or for them. Let me see what's going on here for you guys. Can I read you all the major arcanas, these, what signs they represent? You have justice, which is Libra. You have the emperor, which is Aries. You have the world card, which is Sagittarius. You have also Temperance, which is Sagittarius, and you also have the Fool, which is Aries. Lots of fire. Lots and lots and lots of fire. <laughs> What's going on here for Aquarius? Fire only means energy of action. Lots of action. All right, so maybe you're dealing with an action-oriented individual. Clarify the Fool. Ace of Swords. And temperance please the 
Seven of Wands in reverse. There's justice again, but in the reverse. The Queen of Cups upright. And the Eight of Cups. You hear in your situation why you're not, you're lacking this balance and you're thinking about just leaving something behind, taking a leap of faith and a risk and just leaving it all together. Um, but you don't have your balance. It's because you, you have feelings for something or someone, strong ones, and you're emotionally mature, right? And you're capable and you're also emotionally available here as the queen of cups, but you feel like something's not fair. Something is unjust. And because it's not fair or it's unjust, you're walking away from it, right? And seven of wands, you can't be bothered. It's just, you don't want to fight for it. You don't want to deal with it. It's something, some action you don't want to take towards it. You're done resisting it. You're done fighting it, fighting it or fighting for it, whether it's yourself or another person. Um, Queen of Cups also can represent a water sign female. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So if this is work-related, maybe you're dealing with one or something like that and you're just walking away from it, not bothering. Um, but let's continue. Because you are having stress. You're having sleepless nights. You're having anxiety. And you have all these demons in your head and you're like, I don't want any of that. I just want peace, resolution. I want my inner peace and I want my balance back. I want to, my inner compass to point me to towards my true north all right let's continue what is the five of cups and the knight of cups in reverse two of pentacles you're gonna flip-flop over something you're gonna waffle you're gonna be like do it don't do it but there's some guilt and regret to not dealing with it because here's the emperor again and the Emperor is in the next position. Could be this Aries person I spoke about, or it could be this person that you see as authority, somebody of value, high caliber, high value. Um, hmm. You're thinking about having a passionate new beginning with them or some creative project? Let's see, I don't know. What is the Emperor here and the world, please? feel bad that you did something to someone Aquarius let's see what you got king of cups the knight of cups and the six of swords and then the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so there is a king of cups that you might have been dealing with two people, maybe one water, or one fire, I don't know, but you're going towards somebody that's emotionally available and you're dealing with them. Um, so it looks like you might feel bad that you're closing a chapter on somebody and moving forward with someone else. Six of swords, you're mentally disengaging and you're moving on with your life. Okay. And cause there's marriage and commitment here at the bottom of the table. I mean, deck. You don't want to deal with something that's toxic, that you think is toxic. Okay. Continue. What is this page of cups and the three of wands? Eight of pentacles. You honestly have to put some effort into a situation is what it's saying the devil's here I don't know if you're afraid to I don't know if you're scared to talk to them I don't know what you feel like the reaction might be um but you do you need to put effort into the situation text put talk do something and then wait for the results and see what happens but you do have to put effort into it whatever that is for you what is justice in the king of wands place Three of Cups. This is reconciliation. This is good news. This is networking with fire sign person, individual. 
you can't give up on this person supposedly because the nine of wands back here i know it's rough and tough right now but you will get through the storm um let me have one more please yeah this is reconciliation of some kind or good news with somebody because you have the ten of pentacles which is marriage and commitment it doesn't have to be marriage it could just be commitment this is work related this is a lot of money on your home this person is very capable of pouring money in your direction especially if they're an emperor because they create empires and you seem to be worried over something um what are they worried about you're being cautious trying to find your balance again this is happening to you for a reason aquarius as I'm pulling out these cards, they're like, they're, they're all major. It's crazy. The Wheel of Fortune, the universe is getting involved. They brought you somebody that maybe is tumultuous, but it's for a reason. Um, you're meant to be like partners of some kind. Finding your balance. Going cautious. Anything else you want to say? Use your intuition. Maybe somebody you ha you're not talking to and you need to. That's why it's telling you put effort into it. Romance Angels, what do you see here for Aquarius, please? Trust. And then there's the wedding card again. Cards don't lie. The situation is calling for you to have faith. It's all going to work out. Well, at least this week it is. All right, what else do you have for Aquarius? I haven't done the Wisdom House and Night for Aquarius in a long time. Please clarify. Okay, Aquarius, please. Let's see. Denial. What are you saying? Not everything is in reach, my child. Sometimes I must create distance between what you want and when or how you are meant to receive it. That's why you got the trust card, dude. And do that. Let's keep reading. Consider the wait for your highest good. Oh my God. That is why this is also in your advice position. The waiting card. You are not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith for if you will wait I will, sh and you show me patience, I will reveal some wonderful things to you later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, I alone know when the time is ripe. Patience, my child. All these cards are aligning, all of them. Common thread, wait, trust. You're being denied for a reason. Keep working towards your situation. All right, guys, this is what I have for you this week. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me your comments down below because that actually helps the channel grow, at least your cohort. And I can uh, get some feedback from you as well. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week.